Hello, I'm Bongo John here at Bongo John Studio. I'm going to show you how to utilize Cubase 12 Pro or Pro 12, how you want to say it. I think it's Cubase 12 Pro. Um, and being able to pull up band in the box inside of inside of as a VST and route your outputs of band in the box to different outputs in Cubase so that you can more easily mix after the fact. So we're going to go with empty, right? And we're going to band in the box, 12, 10, 22. I'm going to create. And we're selecting the folder, which is my default folder here, Cubase projects. Starting off a blank Cubase session, we're going to add there now i have this okay here we go to add a track <laughs> i have multiple screens going on so i'm having to juggle a little bit pardon so i'm going to add an instrument band the box daw vst3 it's in my listing of plugins after i spent a day in almost a, almost a 12 or 14 hours expanding zip files onto the pc you can also get it for mac too so we're adding Adding band in the box, right? I'm going here and then right here to open the plugin. It's getting ready to open. We have it down here. It's actually opened already. And here it is. And the band in the box v da VST3 plugin with all the bells and whistles is, you know, that's it's a good deal. So right here we have acoustic tracks. We have, I bought a, a lot of uh, style formats as far as uh, with demos and whatnot that are included with the uh, extra packs that you can get with Band in the Box. And uh, so then now we have this going on, this window here, which I'm going to pull this window right here. And that created this window right here, which is going to the bottom screen. I have multiple screens. And so then now we're going to pull up a slow blues. This is what it sounds like. Right. All right. So I'm going to load the song. So that's that sounds wonderful. It's recorded by absolutely top-notch players. I'm going to load that song demo. Okay. I'm going to click that. Now what it's doing is that it created in Band in the Box the tracks in resonance. However, you won't be able to play it back right away. So if you go like this, it's not going to do anything. I'm pressing play in Cubase, and it's like, well, what's going on? Well, what you got to do first, notice that that 160 or 120 BPM, we want to go here and insert our tempo track into Cubase and make sure that it is at the same tempo as Band in the Box or vice versa. How do you go about it? We're going to go uh, making it 65. Now we're at the same tempo with our click track. If we go here and play it back. We don't have our outputs routed. So we're going to go here. We're going to go here and we're going to activate our outputs. We got band of box, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So like 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We don't need 9, 10. Not right now. But you have templates which can be MIDI based or preset. And they have uh, some plugins that, that come with. You can generate your own sounds or you can drag the MIDI over, have waves loaded in. But what we're doing is that we're playing the track back because we have to generate our tracks. You always click generate. Once you've got your progression situated in band and box with this player sequencer, so to speak, then you go in here and then that works and these are going to separate outs not yet not yet see that it says mono one two we to leave that first one in one two we take this one that's going to go to three four this one's going to go to five six this one's going to seven eight see that it needs to be up here okay so now as you can see 
we have the separate outputs. It's a stand-up bass there, and we got this right here. Drums by themselves. Like the slide or left seal, and we got this wonderful instrument here. The All right, and this is our stereo out. So, then, so now we have individual instruments, right? We've got all the wonderful things about the instruments going on. And then we can go back to this screen here, and then I'll show you that, you know, jazz brushes. We have the guitar, res resophonic, rhythm, blues, delta, SW065. Jack Pearson was playing that. Uh, and we have name of players. And these are players that are, you know, world class. At the base is Byron House it shows his playing. But like if you wanted to, with Band in the Box, the possibilities are endless. It's a phenomenon. There's just been been around for many years, Band in the Box, and it's always gotten better and better. And say if you're a solo musician and you're just wanting to create some kind of progression and you play guitar or something, you want to be able to, you know, you know solo over a progression that has real instruments playing and so it, i guess they use i reckon they use something that's like kind of like stretch audio a little bit but also there's a lot of midi power too now of course you wouldn't want to generate these kind of tracks and not change anything that would be bad because you want to make it your own and add additional tracks and change the midi up it can be a great source of inspiration, but it can also be a hindrance in developing as a musician if you, or artist if you're relying on other people's music to generate your own ideas, which you can't really call them entirely your own if you are grabbing from other artists and combining it in your own way. That's kind of different from creating from scratch, from ground up. So keep that in mind. Um, there can be copyright issues, and you don't want to infringe on anyone's rights or you know, or, you know, copyrights or create problems for yourself artistically. I rarely use Band in the Box for my compositions, personal compositions, but sometimes it's nice to have some kind of progression, which you can change the progression, the chording, all of that, and it will adjust for that. That's the magic of Band in the Box. You can listen to a demo and go, oh, I kind of like that style. Let's try something a little different with the, you know, transposition, you know, transpose it, and then make the chord progression only four bars instead of 16, change from D major seventh to B minor, you know, however. So, you know, that's the thing. Uh, and that's what you want to do, and that's what the intent of the tool is: is to kind of ins it's to inspire uh, artists to create. And also, be great for backup tracks if you're a solo artist and you just want some backup tracks to play to or practice to. Band in the Box is highly recommended. All right, so that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video, and whether it's day or night, uh, regardless, hope you're having a great time, whatever you're doing, and. Stay positive out there, people. All right, bye-bye.